God, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. upon us and save us. Amen. O oh God, the Lord of hosts, so and author of all creation, who in thy mind, boundless tender mercies has sent down thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of the human race, and through his holy cross has torn off the handwriting of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners, and deliver us from every deadly and dark transgression, and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail our flesh with the fear of thee, and let not your hearts incline to evil words and thoughts, but wound our souls with thy love that ever gazing upon thee, Guided by thy light and beholding thee, the eternal light whom no man can approach, we may send up unceasing praises and thanks to thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thy most holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. 
mercy on us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorate in our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves with one another and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, the lover of mankind, and we glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. has gone out into all the earth. is far better. Nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful to you. And being confident of this, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy of faith, that in rejoicing for me may be more abundant in Jesus Christ by my coming to you again. Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ. And to your spirit, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The heavens confess thy wonder 
Fathers, O Lord, thy truth in the Church of the Saints. Julie, Betty, Jade, Robert, the 
Dimitri, Natalia, Dorothy, Nicholas, Elizabeth, Christopher, Thomas, Janice, Philip, Mark, Joshua, Alec, George, George, Nancy, Fatima, Chrysostom, Judy, Luke, Christina, Juliana, Peggy, Elizabeth, Bill, Kathleen, Maya, Alexander, Anna, Victoria, Metropolitan Theodosius, Archbishop David, William, Andrew, the priest Gregory, Sandra, Raymond, Catherine, Jacob, Rachel, Mark, Pope, Yifti, Michael, Gillian and Andrew, Julia and Justin, Amelia and Ryan, Christine and Joe, Irene and Luca, Jane and Christos, Clarissa and Josh, the children to be born to them were victims of violence, disease and disaster here and throughout the world and those who help and serve them. And for the pardon and remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable house, for those who serve and those who sing, for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts.
upon these gifts here spread forth, and make this bread to be the most pure body of thy Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup to be the most precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Making the change by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. That they may be for those who partake of the purification of souls, the remission of sins for the communion of thy Holy Spirit, and the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, but not for judgment or for condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this reasonable worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, mothers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary.
emotion, anger, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Let the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another all our life unto Christ our God. We ask we and pray thee and supplicate thee, make us worthy to partake of the heavenly and mysteries of the sacred pure conscience for remission of sins, for forgiveness of heaven, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, but not for judgment or for condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call on thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say,
I believe, O Lord, and I confess, that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who camest into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly thine own most pure body, and that this is truly thine own precious blood. Therefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance. Make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins, unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy miserable supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, of thy holy mysteries neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, to the healing of the soul of Amen. Fear of God in faith and love, draw ye near. The blessed is he that comes in my name. God is the Lord and has made him
Take us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy church, and to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thank you. 
Thank you, O Lord my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee for thou hast permitted me to be unworthy to commune with thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind who far seeks, didst die and rise again, and gave us thus these awesome and life creating mysteries, that for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of our soul and body, the telling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, the faith unashamed of love unto the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace and love for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life, and to so attain to the everlasting rest, for the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the gladness of those who behold the goodness of thy confidence is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, of Christ our God. And all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ, our God, the creator of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion with thy most pure and life creating mysteries. I am Lord, the O gracious lover of mankind. Preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily with the pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. To thee we ascribe glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for thy food. O thou who art of fire, consuming me unworthy. Consume me not, O my Creator, but instead enter into my members, my veins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul, and sanctify my reasonings. Make fair my knees and body, illumine my five senses. Nail me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me understanding and illumination. Manifest me to be a temple of thy one spirit, and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion, flee from me and destroy my fire as I become thy tabernacle for communion. I offer these intercessors, all the saints, the leaders of the body, the most thy poor and otherwise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers, my love, and my Christ, and thank you, thy servant and child of life. For thou art the only sanctification and light of our souls, O good one, and to thee our master and God, we have God glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, thy precious blood, my remission of sins. Let this Jupiter be, be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, a sinner, worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory at thy awesome second coming, through the prayers of the most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady, the Atokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank you for your permitting me and worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and the most blood of the Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart. You that gave birth to the true life. Enlivening me from dead in my sin, you that gave birth to the Son of my immortality. Have mercy on you, O loving mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility, and my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings. And enable me even to my last breath to receive the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may glorify you all the days of my life. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us, nor, Lord, now let thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine are the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are the and the Grace shining forth from your lips like a beacon has enlightened the universe. It has shown to the world the riches of poverty. It has revealed to us the heights of humility, teaching us by your words, O Father John, your system. Intercede before the Word, Christ our God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having received divine grace from heaven with your mouth, you teach all men to worship one God in Trinity. O all blessed and venerable John, your system. 
We worthily praise you for you are our teacher, revealing things divine. Thou art the Lord of the of ages, Amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator. Do not despise the cry of sinners, but in your goodness come speedily to all those who call on you in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos. We always protect those who honor you. But of mercy, let of mercy, let of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. Let us pray for the prayers of God, the prayers of the Father, and the prayers of the Holy Spirit.